new roll of film, a new adventure. I've done a lot of film photography throughout my life. And I've also used film quite a bit on this YouTube channel. About a year ago, I decided to step away from film photography. And then recently, I decided to start using film again. I was asked to address why I stopped using film and then what has brought me back to wanting to use film again. So let's start with why did I stop using film for my photography? It's pretty simple. It comes down to the cost. At the time I was working on a zine project that was going to take a lot of images. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to afford to use film for that project. So I set the film aside and I used my digital cameras to complete the project. And after that project was finished, I wasn't sure I was going to return back to film. I wasn't sure that I was ready to pick the film cameras back up. I had adapted pretty well to shooting digital in black and white. And I wasn't sure that I was going to need to use film anymore. I did a lot of soul searching. I had to be honest with myself and ask, what is it I really want to photograph? Does it make sense for me to use film again? I didn't have any short-term projects that needed a lot of images. There was really no reason that I shouldn't be shooting film. Why did I come back to film? It's really quite simple. Since I work primarily in black and white, I just like the tonality of film. I love how film renders black and white images. And before you say, well, you can just simulate the look of film with your digital camera. <laughs> well, yes, you can. But the key word for me is simulate. If I'm going to simulate the look of film on all my photos, I might as well just use film. Even though I've learned to convert my digital files to a, an aesthetic that I find pretty good, and at times very good, I still like the tones and perceived depth I get from film better. To my surprise, I find that converting transparency film also converts very well to black and white. Not something I do a lot, but if slide film was cheaper, <laughs> I might do that more often. Film also has a more tangible, practical reason for me to use it in my photography. I like how film archives. I love having the negatives at the end of the process. I also like that if something happens to my digital scans, all I have to do is rescan the negatives. I could talk a bunch more on the reasons why I like film photography, but we'll just have to save that for another day. Looking at the photos in this video I've made on film over the years, I'm reminded why I love film photography. Film is capable. Film is timeless. And film never stopped being good. It has become part of my creative voice. When it comes down to it, I guess you could say I'm a film photographer. And that's okay. <laughs>
If you like coming along on my photography journey and would like to help keep me out making photos and videos, consider picking up one of my zines or visit my PayPal donation page at my website, ridenetsphotography.com. Most of all, don't forget to like and subscribe. And why not leave a comment introducing yourself? I'm always interested in who stopped by my channel to say hello. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.